Let's hop right into some ABGs. Hey guys, Organized Biology here. So I've got an example for you. Let's solve it real fast. So our pH is 7.48. Carbon dioxide is 37, and then bicarbonate is 32. Now I'm going to go through a method that I call the AMC method. If you haven't watched my previous video, please check that out here. But we're going to move forward with it. The first step is to determine the A, right? Is it acidotic or alkalotic? So we have to look at the pH for that. So if we look at our pH, 7.48, we see that it rises above the 7.45 normal value. So we're going to be in alkalosis. So we need to jot that down. So now that we've determined it's alkalosis, let's try to find the match, basically saying which value is going to be the problem, okay? So if we look at the carbon dioxide first, always, we see that it's 37. Well, that falls within a normal range right about here. So that's not going to be the problem. Yes, it is a little low, but that's not the problem. But then we look at the bicarbonate, and we see that it is 32, which is crazy, crazy alkalotic. So there we have found our match. So the match in alkalosis state would be the bicarbonate. So there's some sort of metabolic issue, okay? So it would be metabolic alkalosis. And now we need to check compensation, right? So the compensation, we always look at the other value that wasn't the problem, right? So since bicarbonate was the problem, we're gonna look at carbon dioxide. And we see that carbon dioxide is still normal. It's still normal, so therefore, it is not trying to compensate for the issue at hand. Therefore, it'd be metabolic alkalosis uncompensated. So let's try another example next. All right, next up, I've cracked out a tough one for you. So pH 7.42, partial pressure carbon dioxide 24, bicarb 14. Remember, as we're going through it, step by step, first thing that we need to figure out is the A, right? AMC method. Is it acidotic or alkalotic? We look at the pH for that, right? So I want you to write down which one it is right now. Ready, set, go. You're probably confused because you're like, hey, that's normal. That's normal, right? But remember, I told you in the previous video to note if it's not perfectly 7.4. So since it's 7.42, we're going to consider that slightly alkalotic. So go ahead and jot down alkalosis just to be safe. So now that it falls within that normal range, let's see if there's something actually pushing it one way or another. So if we're slightly alkalotic, now we're looking at the match, correct? So which would match alkalosis state? Would it be the carbon dioxide or would it be the bicarbonate? Well, let's look at this. So carbon dioxide is 24. That would fall very, very low on the scale, right? So we're very alkalotic. And if we look at the bicarbonate, we've got 14, which would indicate that we're actually acidotic, right? We're very low. So what's going on here? Well, remember, the first issue is to find the match. So which one mas matches the alkalosis state? That would be the carbon dioxide. So we know it would be respiratory alkalosis. And here's where it's cool. Now that we know that it's the carbon dioxide making the issue, let's look at compensation. We see that bicarbonate is almost in the acidotic state. So since it's out of the normal range, we know that bicarbonate is trying to compensate, right? It's doing a darn good job. How do I know it's doing a darn good job? because the pH is in a normal range. So what we call this is full compensation. So the correct answer would be respiratory alkalosis fully compensated. Let's try one more real quick. All right, last example for y'all. If this has been helpful so far, make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel. I'll make a lot more videos like this. So we've got pH 7.19, carbon dioxide 31, bicarb 11. So looking first at our AMC method, we're looking acidotic or alkalotic. We do that by looking at pH, and we see that the pH is very, very low at 7.19. That is incredibly low, so we know that it is acidosis. Let's jot that down. And now we're looking for that match, right? We're looking at the value that is going to match our acidotic state. And always, we start with carbon dioxide. So let's look at carbon dioxide. It is at 31. So 31 would actually be alkalotic, right? So that does not match our acidotic state. So let's look at bicarb. Bicarb is 11, which 11 would fall way the heck over here in very acidosis state. So now we know that the acidotic state is caused by a metabolic issue. So it's metabolic acidosis. Okay, now the hard part, looking at the compensation. So we need to see if the other value, right, not the bicarb, the carbon dioxide, is actually compensating for it. And as we see, look at it, it is alkalotic. It is at 31 millimeters of mercury. So since we're in acidosis, we see carbon dioxide pushing the scale the other direction, getting lower. So we know compensation is occurring. But remember, is it partial or is it full compensation? Well, in this case, we have to look back at the pH. If the pH is abnormal, 
but we're having compensation, that means it is partially compensated. So although the carbon dioxide's compensating, it hasn't fixed the pH yet. So we're at partial compensation. So the whole answer would be metabolic acidosis, partial compensation. If you feel good on ABGs, I recommend you hop over to these videos learning about what causes metabolic and respiratory acidosis and alkalosis.